Hi everyone. He is the Delara in the new patched um, Time Level 7. This video is not going to be anything special, I'm literally just going to drive around and see if the pace falls off. The car out of the pits is so much better. The tyres aren't quite up to temperature on lap 1, but you can actually push straight away. It's a little bit sketchy through here, so let's take it easy on the outlet. Shout out to Julian for his VRS set. Fantastic around here. Fits my driving style well. This um, new time model version of the car has definitely, I think, moved it towards how, more how I like to drive it. The front still aren't quite up. It's a bit passive at the front there, but that'll change. Got three gallons of fuel. Now I just want to see if there's any fall off. I want to focus on driving it consistently. Some, still the fronts aren't quite up, it's pushing wide. The brakes with this um, V7 tyres finally operate in a way that I'm comfortable with. I don't know if it's just the potentiometer Logitech pedals that made me uncomfortable with them before. But I was always quite good on the brakes in the Pro Master and never in this car. So it should be flat through here. Fronts aren't quite up yet, not quite flat. Most sport parks a bit of a paint by numbers track, so you've really just got to focus on hitting the apexes and um, the pace will come. If you start pushing the car too hard and missing the apexes, that's when you lose time. Just hold a medium line through here. That was a bit wide, but it was fine. The car doesn't get damaged going down through that section like it did last season. That was a real pain. So this is default morning weather. So I should be aiming for high-ish night second laps. Front was a bit better through there that lap. I don't want to start pushing too hard and making mistakes, I just want to treat this like it was a spirited race run. I really just want to see if the tyres start to go. In the brief running I did before, which was only for a few laps, there was no noticeable fall off. flat down through the
got to hit the apex before opening the taps. Too deep on the brakes, but that was just me. That was not the tyres. I would say, considering we can now only run 16 PSI tyres instead of 14, I believe it's 16.7, the peak pace will be down slightly as this car does seem to generate more speed with the lower the pressures, but that doesn't really matter, it's the same for everyone. I've never really felt I've run a good line through that bus stop. I've on this track with so many cars and it always just feels a bit awkward. I like to run it wide to make sure I get the second apex. You can go flat through here. You tend to push a bit wide through there. I sensed the front end was maybe just a little bit stronger at the start of the stint. It's hard to know for certain though. It just feels it's getting a touch more stable. It's still running the lines fine, it's good down through there, can hold that inside line well. Down a gear.
car feels like it's maybe communicating a bit more of the bumps through the front end than what it used to. It's the impression I get, like it feels a bit stiffer. It might just be the tyre pressures are up. I just don't remember it skipping off track like that. starting to push on a bit through that bus stop, um, the rear end slid. So a 10 lap stint, 11 lap stint, and the laps were all basically the same. You know, one, one and a half tenth variance really. The tyres aren't going off, they're not overheating. Um, felt maybe the front got a little bit weaker as the stint went on, but it, it's not really certain or reflected in the lap times. You might notice one to two tenths, or maybe three tenths tyre deg over the course of a race, but that's not going to be significant. The um, aggressive overheating is well gone, and good job to iRacing for that. Um, makes this car very drivable again. In this state, on these tyres, without the overheating, um, it's, it's much better than what it was on V6. It feels better, and you haven't got any of the downsides. And I'm just noticing the camber on those rear tyres. Aggressive. <laughs> 